Shalom. So I just want to encourage people because we all know that we need some encouragement from time to time. If you have been finding yourself recently in a place where it just seems like all around it's just lies and attacks, just understand first and foremost, you're not alone. And second of all, you're a really good company because the same thing that used to happen to Yahusha when it came to the Pharisees, okay? And you have to understand that it's for the building of our character because we're taking on his character, nature, and authority. So we have to lose our own, which means we're going to have to suffer through the slander and the false witness and so on and so forth. And just understand this. The people that do this, pray for them. The reason why I say that is because you know what the commandments say, especially about bearing the false witness against someone. You already know they're breaking the law. There's no point in you going and breaking the law with them by clapping back and all this other stuff. You don't have to. So ever since September 1st, Rock Akwadesh has been telling me, you know, when I wake up in the morning and I pray, you know, what do you want me to do today? On the days that I have to go to work, he literally, he all, the only thing he's been saying is listen and watch. And I thought it was just for, you know, the time period that I was on the fast, but he's still saying it and I'm not fasting anymore. He's still saying it. So I'm like, okay. And every single day he reveals a little bit more to me. But this morning was interesting because he told me that today, not only would I listen and watch, but I would also respond and he'd give me the words to say. And so when I was on the way to work, I heard him talking and I'm like, okay, I'm going to make this video real quick because I wanted to give you guys some words of encouragement, you know, at the beginning of the day. But it's like I couldn't focus. I was just so distracted and I couldn't, you know, say what it was I needed to say because I would have these long, weird, awkward poses, um, pauses. And I was like, nah, I'm good. I'll just wait until I get off from work. Well, let me tell you something today, honey. When I tell you he told me to open my mouth and speak. And it wasn't. It wasn't loud. It wasn't obnoxious. It was just the truth. And it was his authority. And the thing about it is, just like in war, like in in war in the physical realm, you have to train for that. You can't just pick up a weapon and go out and think you finna fight somebody. Like, that's the quickest way to die. So, he does the same thing. Matter of fact, we in the physical do the same thing that we do in the spiritual realm. So, like, right now, he's literally training those that he calls his children he's training us on how to war in the spirit like really war in the spirit not that phony stuff that we used to hear about and see in the church where folks was like screaming into the air and saying i rebuke you satan and all that other junk like that's nonsense like he's really teaching us how to stand in the face of adversity how to stand in the face of false witnesses so on and so forth and how to let his light shine through us in the process He's really doing that right now because I'm I'm trying to let you know. This is what Ruach Kodesh told me at the beginning of the year. He didn't tell me what was coming next year, but he did tell me that next year is going to be a need for the true children of Yahuwah to stand up and shine for him and do his will, walk in his authority. And let's just put it this way. It's going to be some real deliverance that goes forth next year. But like I said, you have to allow this to happen. If you don't, you're only delaying your training. You're only delaying your progress. You're only delaying your blessing, really, because it's a blessing to have his nature, character, and authority bestowed upon you. It doesn't feel good, but it is a blessing. As a matter of fact, now that I'm thinking about it doesn't feel good. So I've been in the book of Revelation. I think I already told you guys that. But I can't remember what chapter it was at because I've been in like three different chapters recently but it's either 19 or 11 I want to say it's 10 when um, Yehukanana John he eats the, the sefer and we all we already know that that's metaphorical he's not actually like eating the book but it's you know what's written in the book he's taking it in but anyway how the angel had told him you know when you eat it it's gonna be it's gonna taste good in your mouth but then it's gonna be bitter in your stomach so basically you know as you're eating it it's like yeah so I'm, I'm imagining it's probably like him finding out what's been happened to the kingdom of darkness but then like knowing what he has to go through and what the rest of us have to go through in order to get to that point that's probably what the bitter part is but I said all that to say like it's the same thing with Yahuwah training us like we know in the end 
if we endure to the end and Yahushua Hamashiach is our Adonai and our Savior, that we will reign with him and that we will be with him forever. But it's just getting to that point is bittersweet. Like him training us so that we can get to that point is bittersweet. It feels so horrible. But like I said, he is training us for this. And you got to let it happen. Listen and watch. And what he kept telling me, listen and watch, listen and watch. And that I have, that I have been. And understand this. He told me today, I'm going to take care of it now. Awesome. Because when you allow Yahuwah to take care of it, I'm a mama. When people start messing with my son, you're not messing with my son, you're messing with me, right? Same thing with Yahuwah. When you start provoking his children and coming for his children, you're not messing with them, you're messing with him. And please understand, he not gonna let you go just messing with him all willy-nilly. He finna come for you. And that train coming out of them tracks ain't gonna be pretty. So what you do is you keep praying for them folks, but you, you stand back out the way. Don't get drugged down them tracks with them trying to uh, protect your honor because he's going to protect you for, for he's going to protect you for you okay he's going to justify you you just stand alright I love you guys Shalom on the king